I'm a private tutor and this past uh, winter I had a client who had this habit of um, he would log into Zoom and um, he would misspell his name and the first time I ever saw it I didn't really think much of it and um, a couple days later I had given him a problem that I was very fluent in and so I, I could I could do that problem in the, uh, with my eyes closed. He comes back the next session and I look at it and I know it's not the right answer. But at the same time, as I'm looking through it, I can't seem to find where he made the mistake. You know, I was probably too focused on how to show him how to do this problem. I couldn't find where he made the mistake. And then I went back backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And I realized he copied the problem down wrong. What was really interesting was that the problem he wrote down looked like it could be a reasonable problem as well. Now, so I pointed out to him, because this was the third or fourth session that he had come to, that um, I noticed that he likes to uh, misspell his name, and I asked him, I, I told him it doesn't really bother me or anything, but I'm curious about uh, your thoughts about that. And he says, oh, I'm just in such a hurry to get into Zoom. You know, I really like your classes. And I tell him, you know, I, I think part of showing up is of having some attention to, to details like that. Because I know it's not just your name that you're having struggling with details. And so he started typing in his name correctly and he started doing very well. He went from a C to an A within a couple of weeks, I would say just from details like that. And it's made me a lot more mindful that um, I pay attention to uh, little details like that. I used to be guilty of all sorts of, well, I'd be in a rush, right? I'd want to notify somebody of something and um, I would send very rash emails. And um, I find that not a good habit. The, the five seconds you save is going to cost you a lot down the line when you become careless when it actually does matter, right? So, for example, um, I haven't had a car accident in, uh, my God, four and a half years. I got very worried at the turn of the year in 2020, early 2020 because it had been two and a half years since the, oh, three, three and a half years since the accident. <coughs> and I got worried that um, I was overdue for an accident. Fortunately, we locked down. And fortunately, I had the experience with the client being uh, more mindful of little details. I think part of the reason we have so much COVID-19 here in the United States is uh, the lack of attention to little details like that, right? Um, a lot of people, uh, when they chat online... I think ever since I started using Zoom a year ago now, there seems to be a degradation of language, right? There's a lot of LOLs and, and stuff like that, of uh, acronyms, and people don't give a crap about misspellings. Uh, I, I, I've seen a degradation of language over the last year. I hope it doesn't continue. I hope this video will wake some people up, uh, even though... You know, if I had been greedy, I could have let the student continue to do that so I can keep him, right? Because now he seems to have gotten the hang of everything. I'm not seeing him anymore. But I think it was more important for me to take the lesson of how important even something as minor as how you spell your name could be, right? Thanks for watching.